Hello, my friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new to watching, my name is Crystal. Thank you so much for being here and for clicking on my video. I hope you have fun while you are here talking about books, which is obviously one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> so today, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're just gonna hang out, talk about some new books that I recently have gotten over the last couple of months. Um, I have gotten a lot of books recently and I feel like I haven't sat down and actually talked about them to anyone. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to do a little book haul and share all the books that I've gotten. These are just random books that I've gotten from like Barnes and Noble or like Amazon. Amazon recently just had a big book sale. So I did get a good number of books from there. And then my husband Jacob also has surprised me with some books. And I've just gotten some random books here and there, you know, so we're going to talk about all of them today. There are 20 books to go through but I am excited about every single one of these. I haven't read any of them yet. They're just sitting on my shelf, staring at me. <laughs> Let's just jump right in and get started. I picked up the fine print, terms and conditions, and final offer. This is a three book series called The Dreamland Billionaires. Honestly, I've heard mixed reviews on this series, but um, I've heard a lot of good things. So I just want to read these for myself and see what the hype is about. I really like reading about I don't know, rich people. <laughs> I can't relate. It literally is just like an escape and it's so intriguing to me and it's just so entertaining to me. <laughs> is it spicy? I don't know. I do love spice in books, but I also like don't mind if there isn't any. So another book I picked up is Never Lie by Frieda McFadden. She is one of my favorite thriller authors. I love her writing. It's very easy to read. It's very palatable. It her books are like, they just make you want to keep turning the pages. She, honestly, she reminds me, her writing reminds me a little bit of Alice Feeney in a way. I'm excited to read more of her books. I've read The Housemaid and The Housemaid's Secret. Those are two of my favorite thrillers. I've heard great things about this one. Um, from what I know about this, it's like, I don't know, it's like about a psychiatrist and a couple is kind of going through a house and they end up finding really old tapes from some of the psychiatry sessions. A mysterious disappearance, a secret room, remote manor, winter storm traps them. Literally everything that I would want in a thriller seems like it's in here. I also picked up Indigo Ridge by Devney Perry. Never read a Devney Perry book. This will be my first. I know that this is part of the Edens series. I didn't buy any of the other books because I just wanted to read the first one to see if I liked it, which honestly is very unlike me because usually if it's a series, I will buy the whole entire series before I've even read it prime example right here. Um, but I literally, I will, that is just something that I do. I don't know what it is. I, it really bothers me that I don't have the rest of this series, to be honest. It really, it really does irk me. <laughs> From what I know about this, I don't really know much, but I do know it's kind of like a romance mixed with a mystery. That's really all I know. And it's set in a small town. Is it set in a small town? I don't know. But regardless, I am excited to read a Devney Perry book and really excited to read this series in particular. So we shall see what I think. All right, the next one I picked up is Flawless by Elsie Silver. This is um, the first book in the, what is this series called? Uh, I don't know what this series is called, but I know that there are multiple books in this. Again, I only bought the first one, but I have a feeling that I am going to be buying the rest of them very soon because I think this is a small town cowboy romance, which I've never read like a cowboy romance before but I'm dying to. So this will be my first one. And I think I'm in for a really fun ride. <laughs> Y'all this next book, I think this is the one of the ones that I am most excited about the Mindfuck series. This is one of those ones that I already know going in that it's going to be a five star for me. This is a dark romance um, about, I think it's a serial killer and the serial killer is a woman, like the main character in this is a woman. This is books one through five. So this is like five short stories in one big book. And so it's what, like a little under 700 pages, which honestly, since I've been reading Throne of Glass, that is really nothing to me. Honestly, I just, the last Throne of Glass book that I read is, was a thousand pages. And then before that I did the tandem read, which was 1300 pages. So honestly, 700 sounds sounds really good to me at this point. And I also feel like this is going to be a very fast read. Um, I think I'm going to get through this really quickly. So I don't know when I'm going to read this book. This is one of those that I'm like nervous to read it because I don't want it to be over. 
Does that make sense? Okay, this next series is one that my husband recently surprised me with and I was screaming when he got this for me and I was like, wait, what is this? I didn't know he knew that I like wanted this series, but I've been dying to get it and he just got it for me and it was just like my heart. You know, I'm like, you know the way to my heart, books and snacks. He surprised me with this series. This is Crowns of Nyaxia. I think that's how you pronounce it. The Serpent and the Wings of the Night. Six Scorched Roses. This is the little uh, novella that goes in between these two books. The Ashes and the Star Cursed King. Um, obviously these are fantasy books. And from what I know, I actually don't know too much, um, but I think this has to do with vampires. Anything that has to do with vampires, sign me up. This might take me a while to read. I am taking a little bit of a fantasy break just because of, I, I've just been so consumed with Throne of Glass that my brain needs a little bit of a break from fantasy. So I am taking a few months off from reading fantasy. I have to just kind of feel it out and see when I'm in the mood to dive into more fantasy books. I think, I have a feeling these will be easier to read than like th the Throne of Glass series, which not saying that that was hard to read, but it did take a lot out of me like mentally, like my brain. You know, it was amazing, but it was a lot for my brain, if that makes sense. Next up, we have the Twisted series by Anna Wong. I don't know, I've heard multiple things about this. I have heard a lot of good things, but I've also heard some people that don't like this series at all, but I'm gonna find out for myself. So we shall see. Okay, Twisted Love is the first book. He has a heart of ice, but for her, he'd burn the world. All right. Next up, I got Jar of Hearts by... Jennifer Hillier, 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 Hillier. What is that, a spider? Oh, you little bitch. I need to call the exterminator. Uh-uh. No. Where's a napkin? I need a napkin. Spiders actually don't bother me, but like, I don't want them in my house, you know? It's tiny, like literally so tiny. How dramatic was I being? Sorry, buddy. Okay. Anyway, back to the books. <laughs> Jar of Hearts. I follow this guy on TikTok who raves about this book and he absolutely influenced me to buy this. But I know this is a thriller. I know it's a thriller and I know it's dark. An explosive edge of your seat thriller about three friends, one murder, and a whole world of secrets. Angela was one of the most popular girls in her high school before she disappeared without a trace. That's all I need to read. Okay, next book I got is If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. This is actually the book that we are gonna be reading in my book club next month in August. And um, this is Dark Academia. I have never read Dark Academia before. I wanted to read something different, something we'd never read before, and we've never read Dark Academia. And so I was doing a lot of research into, okay, what is the best book to read that is good for like a beginner, someone, someone just going into the genre. And this is the book that had like everyone in the dark academia world talks about this book. From what I know about this, it's about a group of students who are studying um, Shakespeare or they're like obsessed with Shakespeare, one of the two. And obviously they're taking like theater classes in their school. Uh, one of them ends up being murdered or dies. So I don't know, it sounds really good and I've heard really good things about it. It has great reviews, so We'll be reading this next month in my book club and I can't wait. Okay, next book I got is Missing Child by Patricia McDonald. So I got this book because one of my good friends just read this and she absolutely loved it and we have very similar book tastes. So I just decided to get it because it was on sale um, during the Amazon book sale. So it was like $6 or something. <laughs> I'm assuming it's about a missing child. Uh, this does feel like a, sh oh my gosh, this book is so short. It's like 211 pages. It's just over 200 pages. So I feel like I could read this in like one day. <laughs> when Caitlin Eckhart drops her six-year-old stepson Jordy off at school, it never crosses her mind that he won't even make it to class. But a phone call changes her life forever. Jordy is missing. This is, this seems like it'll be a really short, quick, easy read. So I will probably be reading this one really soon. Okay, next book I got is Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. From my understanding, this is also a dark academia book. It says, a tale of power, privilege, dark magic, and murder among the Ivy League elite. Okay, so yes, it does sound like it is dark academia, but also has a little bit of like, maybe a little fantasy in it as well. So that sounds really interesting. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued by this, which is why I bought it, obviously. All right, the last two books I have from my big old book haul. 
Okay, these books and the Mindfuck series, I think, are the two that I'm most excited about in this haul. Magnolia Parks, this is the first book in the series, I believe. Um, the Long Way Home. Is this the first book? I'm pretty sure this is the first book. I don't know. Anyway, I got Magnolia Parks, The Long Way Home, and Daisy Hates The Great Undoing. This is a series that I feel like is not for everyone from what I've read. Um, this is, if you've ever watched Gossip Girl, I have heard that this is very similar to that in that it's very toxic, it's full of drama, but it's like that addicting type of book that you don't want to put down. Like the characters, from what I know, really frustrate you and piss you off, but you have to keep reading. It's like one of those series that you either really love or you really hate. I love toxic shit in books like I love it not because that's like the relationship that I want to have in real life but because reading is an escape for me and it's just toxic stuff to me in books is so entertaining and it's just one of those things where I'm just like invested once I get the other two books I'll kind of decide on when I'm going to read it but I this is probably one of my most anticipated series anyway y'all that is it for my big old book haul I don't know that I'll be buying a lot more books anytime soon because obviously I have all these that I have to read I say that but I'm probably gonna be buying books tomorrow but anyway y'all thank you so much for watching this video again if y'all have read any of these books I would love to know your thoughts in the comments I would love it if you would subscribe if you would like this video turn on the notification bell um, just so you don't miss any of my other videos and content that I put out I'll also put all my social handles here on the screen I have a book talk where I post all book content I have a virtual book club on Instagram so I'll put all of that here on the screen so y'all can come follow along over there as well I hope you'll have a great rest of the day and I will see y'all in my next video bye